Now this building used to be a dairy bar. Now it's La Vaquita, and it's home to the best tacos in all of North Carolina. Mole poblano. A mí me gusta el chivo con vino. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Two years ago, Fidel Rodriguez was a prep cook at an American restaurant in Greensboro, North Carolina, just about an hour from here. And now he's here at La Vaquita making the best mole poblano. Legend has it that mole poblano was invented by the 16th century nuns from Puebla, Mexico. They were anticipating a visit from the great archbishop, and they didn't know what to serve him, so they created this amazing savory dish. And today we have Fidel's family's recipe. We've got onions and garlic, and what types of peppers are these? Chile ancho. Ancho. Yeah. Guajillo. Guajillo and... Pasilla. Pasilla. And then some pumpkin seeds. Yeah. And these get all ground up, and you've got a lot of heat, but it's tempered by these ingredients over here. We've got some chocolate, some tortillas, and these are toasted sesame yes. seeds. Okay. And we're in the south, so we've got some pecans and some peanuts. Platano macho. Platano macho, which is a ripe plantain. Cookies. Cookies. These are animal crackers. Is this your secret ingredient? Yes. Yeah. What really separates a taco joint from taco heaven are the tortillas. And at La Vaquita, all the tortillas are handmade, fresh, and cooked to order. This is masa harina, which is corn flour and water. And we're going to use the tortillera, which is basically a large tortilla press. And then we just press it. And throw it on the grill. So from a 16th century convent in Puebla, Mexico, to an old dairy bar here in Durham, North Carolina, we've got mole poblano with Fidel Rodriguez. The sauce is really the best part, isn't it? Mmm, que riquísimo. Mmm, gracias. Muchas gracias.